Here, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on quadrilaterals. So, in this video, we will discuss some of the questions related to quadrilaterals, so which are very important from the exam point of view. So, you have to watch this video very carefully. So, let us discuss the first question of this video, the question number one. Now, the question says that show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal and bisect each other at right angles, then it is a square. So let's first draw the quadrilateral. Let's say we have a quadrilateral like this A, B, C, D, A, B, C, and D. Now it's given that the diagonals are equal. So we can say that the diagonal B, D, and A, C are equal. So we can write given A, C equals to B, D, and then they bisect each other at right angles. So, this is 90. Now, so we all know that if in a diagonal, if in a quadrilateral, the diagonals are equal and they bisect each other at angles. So, it is a parallelogram. So, we can say that A, B, C, D is parallelogram. Now, now we need to prove that it is a square. Now, before proving that it is a square, so since A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, so we can say that AB equals to CD and AD equals to BC. Now, let's again discuss why it's parallelogram since it's given diagonals are equal and they bisect each other at right angles. So, ABCD is a parallelogram. Now, so we have AB equals CD and AD equals to BC. So, now we need to prove that it is a square. So, let us consider the triangle and let this point be O. Now, let us consider triangle AOD and triangle DOC. So, in this triangle, we can say that AD equals to, we need to prove that AD equals to CD, we need to prove. Now, it is given that this, this is common and this equals to this, we can say and this is 90. So, we can say that OD equals to OD, it is a common side and AO equals to OC. Why? Because diagonals bisect each other, each other, it is given and we have angle DOA equals to angle DOC, each 90 degree. So, we have three conditions. This side is common. This side equals to this side and this angle equals to this angle. So, we can say that triangle AOD is congruent to triangle DOC by SAS. So, we have proved these triangles as congruent. Now, now we can say that AD equals to CD by CPCT. So, since we know that AD is also equals to BC. So, we can say that then AD equals to CD equals to BC and CD is also equals to AB. So, we can say that AD equals to CD equals to BC equals to AB. Now, we all have all the sides of parallelogram equal. So, if all the sides of a parallelogram are equal and the diagonals bisect each other at right angle, so then it is a square. So, we can say that ABDC is a square now. Why? Because all sides are equal and diagonals bisect each other at right angle. So, this is how we can prove these type of questions. So, let us discuss the next question. Question number 2 now. The question number 2 says that the diagonal AC of a parallelogram 
A, B, C, D bisects angle A. So, means this angle equals to this angle. We need to show that it also bisects angle C and we need to prove the second part. A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Now, so let's discuss how we can do this. So, first of all, we need to write given. It's given that A, C bisects angle A and A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Now, so to prove, let's say we all need to prove that it also bisects angle C. So let's consider triangle ADC and triangle ABC. Now, in this, in this ABCD as parallelogram, we can say that this side equals to this side and this side equals to this side. So we can say that. CD equals to AB and AD equals to BC. Why? Because it's a parallelogram and we can say AC equals to AC. It's a common side. Right? So, we can say that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC by S, 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 side, side, side. Why? Because we have three side. One, two, and three. So, we can say that angle D, C, A equals to angle B, C, A, B, C, A by C, P, C, T. So, we can say that A, C diagonal bisects angle C. So, this is how we can prove this, the first part. Now, let's discuss the second part. In the second part, we need to prove that ABCD is a rhombus. So, let's discuss how we can prove this. Now, we have proved that this angle equals to this angle. Now, as we know that ABCD is a parallelogram, right? Then we can say that angle A equals to angle C. Why? Because opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. Right? Now, we all know that angle A and angle C are bisected by a diagonal AC. So, we can write half of angle A equals to half of angle C or we can write angle DAC equals to angle DCA. So this means this angle equals to this angle. Let me use another color. See, this angle equals to this angle. So, we can say that now AD equals to CD. Why? Opposite sides to equal angles are equal means if these two angles are equal the side opposite to these two angles we all know that ABCD is a parallelogram so AD is equals to BC so we can say that AD equals to BC equals to CD equals to AB now we have all the four sides equal since if in a parallelogram all the four sides are equal, so then ABCD is a rhombus. So, we can say that ABCD is a rhombus. Why? Because all sides are equal. So, this is how we can prove these type of questions. So, let's discuss the next question, question number three of this video now. The question says that ABCD is a rhombus. So, let's first draw the rhombus. So, we have rhombus like this. Let's say A B, C, and D, and we need to show that the diagonal AC bisects angle A, means this angle equals to this angle, and this angle equals to this angle, so it bisects angle A as well as angle C. Now, it's a rhombus, so all the four sides are equal. It's given. Now, let's say how we can do this. So, first of all, we need to write given. It's given. A, B, C, D is a rhombus and 
diagonal AC bisects. We need to prove this diagonal AC bisects angle A and angle C. So let's discuss the proof now. Consider triangle ADC and triangle ABC. Now, in this triangle, we can say that CD equals to AB and AB equals to BC. Why? Because all sides of rhombus are equal. Right? And we can say that AC equals to AC. Why? Because it's a common side. Now, we can say that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC by SSS. So, we can say that angle DAC equals to angle CAB by CPCT and we can say that angle DCA equals to angle ACB by CPCT. So, we can say that AC diagonal bisects angle A and angle C. Now, so let's discuss how we can prove that diagonal BD bisects angle B and D as well. So similarly, let's draw another rhombus. So same way we can prove this. So let's say we have ABCD and we have a diagonal BD now. So all the four sides are equal again. We can say that because it's a rhombus. Then similarly, if you consider triangle ABD and triangle BCD. In this triangle, we can say again that AB equals to CD and AD equals to BC. Why? Again, it's a rhombus. So, all four sides are equal. And again, we can say that BD equals to BD. It's a common side. Right? So, we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD by SSS. So, we can say that similarly, we can say that this angle equals to this angle and this angle equals to this angle by CPCT. So, this is how we can prove these type of questions. So, let's discuss the next question, question number 4, the last question of this video. Now, so the question says that ABCD is a rectangle. So, we need to draw a rectangle first. ABCD and in which the diagonal AC bisects angle A and C. So, this angle equals to this angle and this angle equals to this angle. So, we need to first, we need to prove that ABCD is a square. So, we need to prove ABCD is a square. Now, since it's a triangle, so opposite sides are equal. So, let's discuss the proof now. So, first of all, we need to write the given. It's given that diagonal AC bisects angle A and C and AB CD is a rectangle. So, we need to prove ABCD is a square. So, let's discuss the proof now. So, if you consider Let's say we draw another or we can say like now since angle A equals to angle C. Why? Because opposite angles in a parallelogram or are equal or we can say that each angle in rectangle are equal or it's 90 degree. So, we can say that angle A equals to angle C or we can also write then half of angle A 
will be equals to half of angle C. Why? Because diagonal AC bisects angle A and C. We can say that. So we can write half of angle A as ang angle DAC, which is equals to angle DCA. Right? So if you consider now triangle ADC, so we can clearly see that DAC is this angle and DC is this angle. So these two angles are equal now. The sides opposite to equal angles are equal. So we can say that AD equals to CD. Why? Sides opposite to equal angles. Angle DAC and angle DCA are equal. So AD equals to CD since it's a rectangle. So AD is also equals to BC and CD is also equals to AB. Why? Since it's a rectangle given. So we can say that AB equals to CD equals to BC equals to AD. Now all the four sides are equal and it's a rectangle. So we can say that now AB CD is a square since all sides are equal and it's a rectangle. So this is how we can prove the first part. Now let's discuss the second part. The diagonal BD bisects angle A, angle B as well as angle D. So we need to prove that if we draw a diagonal like this, so it bisects this angle and this angle and this angle this angle. So it's very easy again to prove this. So let's discuss the proof now. If you consider triangle BCD and triangle ABD. So in this triangle again CD means this side will be equals to AB and AD will be equals to BC because why because it's a rectangle again and we can say again that BD equals to BD it's a common side so we can say that these two triangles triangle BCD is congruent to triangle ABD by SSS so we can say that again so this angle we use another color. So we can say that this angle equals to this angle and this angle equals to this angle by CPCT. So let's name this angle as 1, this angle as 2, and angle 3, and angle 4. So we can write angle 1 equals to angle 2, and angle 3 equals to angle 4 by CPCT. So we can say that now BD diagonal bisects angle B as well as angle D. So this is how we can prove these type of questions. So thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. Keep watching for the videos. Have a nice day.